to High Tech Heroes, the program that takes you behind the scenes of today's high tech industries, where you can meet the people and examine the ideas creating tomorrow's technology. And now, coming to you from the studios of Foothill College, high atop the mountains overlooking Silicon Valley, here's your host, Sherwin Gooch. Hello, I'm Sherwin Gooch. Welcome to High Tech Heroes. Today's guest is a modern day renaissance man who was born in New York City. Throughout his life, he's loved model airplanes. In addition to designing and building model airplanes, our guest has invented and collected a large number of toys. He attended Brentwood, he attended Brentwood a tough high school known as Home of the Hoods, where he was undoubtedly the only student with a Tech 503 oscilloscope in his home lab. Our guest earned a BS in mathematics from the State University of New York and a master's in computer science from Penn State, but pursued a PhD in music from the University of California at San Diego, where, at 26, he became the youngest professor in the University of California system. Our guest is an accomplished composer and musician, having composed many pieces and performed many concerts. He's an artist, having had his work exhibited many places, including the Museum of Modern Art. Combining music and computers, our guest set up the original electronic music studio at Penn State and went on to help initiate curricula and computer music at many other universities. He's a prolific writer. He served as editor or written for a myriad of magazines, including Model Airplane News, The Silicon Gulch Gazette, later Double E Times, Dr. Dobbs Journal, Byte, 73, Personal Computing, Kilobaud, Interface Age, and my new favorite, Midnight Engineering. He's also had academic papers published by many journals, including Nature and the ACM. Our guest is an entrepreneur. He's founded four companies and built many products. Our guest was a member of the Homebrew Computer Club and was even featured in Programmers at Work. He's an inventor. He's been awarded at least seven patents, not to mention his unpatented inventions, which include the combined editing and programming environment, the one-button mouse, the Apple Macintosh, and the work processor. Our guest is currently a successful private consultant specializing in computer human interface design. And so it's now my pleasure to welcome to our program a true renaissance man. He's an artist, he's a composer, he's a musician, he's an entrepreneur, he's a writer, he's a visionary and inventor of the Macintosh. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Jeff Raskin. Hi, Jeff. Hi. Welcome to High Tech Heroes. So, congratulations on uh, your uh, latest human-human interface project. Thank you. I understand, uh, well, we weren't able to do this a week ago because you were having, or your family was having a baby. Right. So, again, my congratulations. And uh, I guess we're going to start out and talk about model airplanes. And uh, you designed first, I guess, a radically inexpensive model airplane called the Western Wind, I see. Um, what was what made it so radically inexpensive? Well, an, an ex-student of mine, uh, actually was a student at the time named Bill Atkinson, uh, was trying to learn how to fly radio control down at La Jolla, and uh, he built this Walsawood airplane, threw it off the cliff, refused any kind of help. If you know Bill, you know he would refuse mm -hmm. any kind of help, and the uh, thing promptly crashed and smashed. So I said, what the world needs is something that doesn't cost $60, $70 or more, doesn't take 40, 50 hours to build. So I designed a cardboard radio-controlled airplane, you know, Oh, really? There's a picture of it here? A picture of it here, yeah. Yeah, great. Yep. And the thing sold for twelve ninety five. You mm -hmm. could build it in a single uh, afternoon. And uh, if you crashed it, it wouldn't break. It would just, you know, why do they ship things in cardboard boxes? You know, it just dents a little Dent, bit. You know, get a hole, you know, bend throw, it. You throw it off the... Uh, Replace it. Yeah. That's great. So you brought some other uh, airplanes along with you, too, I guess, or airplane pieces here. I well, see... Uh, yeah, to help kids get started, I designed this this airplane. But to make it easy to build, I wanted to have uh, I wanted to just print the parts on a piece of wood. It's a very old technique, but I do it with a laser printer. Mm -hmm. So I just uh, use a CAD program on my Mac and uh, cut out the pieces. And finally, when you get it all done, you have a uh, oh. model airplane. <laughs> <laughs> now let's see. Patented automatic return feature. There you go. I don't know if people got a chance, but it looks, you know, yeah, they can see it whenever. 
So I see you also brought this, uh, looks like a pond dragon. But, uh, no. This is a, uh, a couple of years ago, I decided I was going to teach myself how to do uh, machining. So as a, sort of a project to see if I'd really mastered it, I designed myself a five-cylinder radial engine. It has a... Kind of hold it still for a little sure. bit. Sure. Yeah. Okay. It has a total displacement of uh, 0.025 cubic inches. In five cylinders. In five cylinders. That's total, right? Incredible. It's probably one of the smallest ever built. Yeah. You got, yeah, the back there, I can see some tiny yeah. screws. Yeah. So, so you also uh, play music. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I guess you brought uh, a score to show us of some music that you've composed. Well, this is, uh, this is volume one of a three-volume set that was just published mm -hmm. by uh, Lou Music in New York, and it's available in most music shops. Uh, okay, let's see what's in, inside here. It's a nice cover. It looks like it uh, reminds me okay. of our uh, video synthesis kind so, of stuff. So, needless to say, of course, the entire thing was typeset on my Mac at home. Well, I didn't know that. It doesn't look like it was made on a computer at all. Well, that's the whole point. Yes, it is. Well, the whole point is that it uses the familiar interface that all musicians know and love, and just the dreadful thing called music no, no mm -hmm. notation. But using computer, this is I'm, the reason I got started building computers mm -hmm. is because I wanted things that would help me do what I like to do. I like writing, uh, so I built computers that do good, good word processing. Uh, I originally made a, uh, back in the 60s, I did a music font. It was very, very hard to use mm -hmm. a huge mainframe to do music. Now I can do this at home. It plays it for me. I can uh, proof, proof it much more quickly by just listening to it. Comes out with this. I can send this to a publisher. They don't have to set it. I know that there are no errors in it, or if there are any, it's, it's yeah, my fault. It's your fault, yeah, right. And then, which is another great time saver, any of the music programs will take this. There's four, four parts for a quartet here, but you've got to give each musician one part, so it takes each part. Mm -hmm. Extracts it automatically, and then you, and then you get okay. parts out. So instead of having to copy these over by hand or hire somebody to do that so and wondering if they get it right, or cutting and pasting, all all those kinds of things, it's all done yeah. fairly painlessly, I guess. That's amazing. Yeah. So um, well, if the computer interfaces were any good, I'd quit working on them now because I have most of the tools that I originally set out to build. I see. Well, that's, that's an interesting way to, to look at it. Now, you built a digital electronic tuner, I noticed, one of the patents you have. Mm -hmm. What is that? That's an invention that um, not only tells whether an instrument is in tune or not, but would also take, like on a piano, you have these tuning pegs, and then you have mm -hmm. this, uh, normally you have a piano tuner who's got to tune all these strings. Yeah, and usually the pegs are stuck in the wood so right. that they won't turn. And so I just invented something that listens to the note, and if it's too sharp, turns it one way. If it's too flat, it turns it the other way, and it just tunes the instrument automatically. Uh, it must have an awfully powerful motor, I mean, that, but that's it's pretty geared, pretty simple feedback mechanism. Yeah, it's, it's geared way down. For some reason, nobody seemed to have ever done it before. I'd, I'd sure like to have one. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have to worry about keeping your piano in tune. You could just, yeah, do it whenever. So um, you also do artworks, and uh, mm -hmm. could you say a little bit about that? I, you didn't bring any with you, I guess, but I understand that's, that's because they're too big. Well, I haven't uh, been an active artist for a long time, but when I was doing it, most of my works were very large-scale sculpture, tens of thousands of cubic feet, um, things, environmental things with people in them. I see. Well, that's, that's come into vogue in the last couple of years now, really. Well, it was in vogue then, too. <laughs> yeah, so you've exhibited... Well, it, was, guess, it wasn't in vogue. It was an art news and art world. Yeah. Right, right. Well, that's great. I mean, I guess you exhibited at L.A. County Museum yeah, of Art as well yeah. as... Uh, New York. Had some so. graphics in the Museum of Modern Art in New York. It's hard to beat that. Anyway, well, we have to take a break now. So, uh, Jeff invented the Apple Macintosh, and he's going to tell us about that in a minute. See you on the other side. For some people, doing their basic tax forms by themselves can make them feel like they're climbing the walls. My name, my name is, my full name is, I remember that, dependent. If you need help, free tax help is available from IRS trained volunteers. Find them by calling 1-800-424-1040. They'll make your taxes less taxing. Lasers are prepared for danger. The probability is there. You don't even start a race car without your seatbelt on. Without it, I wouldn't even be here. 
Men, I know what to expect on a track. It's driving with amateurs on the highway that scares me. Drive like a pro. Buckle up. <laughs>